All right, gang, that is the old Windy Hollow Country Store and Museum. It is not on East 2nd Street. There is Evelyn Miller. I call her Rooster. A lot of y'all call her Rooster. And she's going to let me walk through this place. It's going to be open to the public one day only, October 29th. Let's go take a look inside. And that's a dump wagon? So if we start out here, this is a dump wagon. Yeah. The dad always said it had Owensboro history to it. And it helped pave the streets of Owensboro. But he told me not too many years ago that it came from a guy that worked for the city. Mm -hmm. And they would put the gravel and the bricks or whatever in this wagon, take it wherever, and then it dumps from the bottom. Cool. Yeah, I thought that was pretty neat. That's awesome. Fantastic. So, let's go in. Let's go in. Here we go. All right. <laughs> okay, see this cat? <laughs> he keeps getting underfoot. That is so funny. Four-way stop. They don't even say that anymore. That's so funny. All right, what's over here? What's this sign? Hayden Insurance Agency. It's been painted over. Smith Bridge, 1825 Toledo. <laughs> this cat is underfoot. There. He's friendly. All right, I don't know where Evelyn went. But I love this. I love this whole thing. Oh, this was up on, this was up, was this in the restaurant up on the hill? It was probably, it may have been outside. Yeah, okay. That one never made it in. All right, let's go and see. Let's go in. Here we go. All right. I can't realize how I've been in here. I really can't. Well, this would have been for the country music where we took the tickets and right. made the popcorn and all that good stuff. That's where Goldie performed, right? Yeah. Yeah. In the 70s. In the 70s, yes. Oh, neat. Oh! <laughs> I'm going to trip over the cat before it's over with. Oh, there's Fair and Young. W.C. Fields. Dad wrote on this that it survived the fire. It was over by the bathrooms. And it just survived the fire. Cool. Very cool. All right, guess what's in here? What? This is the museum. Oh, here we go. Let me get the lights for you. All right. Ooh, it's creepy. Yes, Dad used to have a uh, horse-drawn hearse in here, and he didn't really like that very much. Oh, I would have loved it, <laughs> but you know that. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Lots of stuff and lots of history here. And the pickers were in here. Yes. They need to come back, well, Rooster. They, they need. Knows. They may. They need to come back. I love all these old, all these old newspapers. Watch your step. Yeah, I'm looking through the camera and needing to watch my steps, so I guess I'll. And a cigarette ad. Oh, that's when uh, Richard Nixon passed away. Lincoln and FDR. So, uh, <laughs> and I noticed in the Facebook post you said, Dad's collection is not for sale. That's correct. Except for a very few items. You said a very few items, right? There are, few, there are a few items. Very few. Look at that. Cool. I have some uh, cowboy posters that I'm going to let go of. And Say that again? I have some cowboy posters I'm going to let go of. You sell some cowboy posters? Just a few. Very Got cool. A few Just a few. Got a few for sale. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so most of these papers are message English. Yes. In, in their various incarnations. Yeah. yeah. And back, back then, gang, if you don't remember, because I don't. It was just the Owens for a messenger. Long time ago.
Ooh, it's a big trough. So this is a meat salting trough. Oh. It's about 12 <laughs> or 14 feet long, and it's before refrigeration. Uh-huh. So they put their meat in and pack it full of salt, and it would dry out, and that would that would keep their salt. So, I mean, keep their meat uh, preserved. Mm-hmm. And this is the lids for you. See how it's all been chopped up. It's the largest I've ever seen. I've seen several, but it's the largest I've ever seen. I love that little miniature cabin. That's cool. This is a large meat salting tub. I've just never seen anything like that before. Bunch of cool stuff in there. Went down to Pickers yeah. and saw some of the stuff they picked. Yeah? And what's in there? Do you see the WBKR sign? No, it had been bought. Both of them? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they've been bought. I know where one of them went. Oh, where? Uh, Steve Mason bought it. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know who that is. That's Jeannie Jet. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I thought maybe somebody from another part of the country bought it. No, that's the Owensboro Jamboree sign. That's cool. That's traveling there. the world with Steven Tyler. Excellent, excellent. All right, I'm going to let you down. Don't get under my feet. You saw that, right? What? The Jamboree sign. Yes. I think that's cool. Let's go back in there and look around in there. All right. This is exciting. Seven to one on October 29th, right, Rooster? Right. So Seven to one. 7 a.m. to 1 p.m. October 29th. This old museum will be open for that one day only for those six hours. All right. Oh, here we go again. Yeah, back in here. This is the where the jamboree was. Yep. Look at that. Look at all those. Old seat. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, boy. That was storage, didn't you? Yes, many are. There's the old stage. So all this stuff that's boxed up is for sale. Right. What? All, all this stuff that's boxed up is gonna be for sale? All this stuff that's boxed up is for sale. Isn't okay. It? So Watch step. That's not a cat. Yes, not. All right. Okay. Got it. Guntown Museum up there on the wall. So cool. At Guntown Mountain, they invited Dad to put a museum below the bumper cars uh -huh. in 1975. That's where that's from. All right. Well, this is cool. Isn't it neat? It's very cool. I appreciate you letting me come in here. I haven't been in here in a long time. So that's where Mike wanted to go up. Wanted yeah, he wanted to go up there. Yeah. Mike wanted to go up there. It's like, man, I don't think it's a good idea. I didn't think, I didn't it, was think, it, was think it was a good idea. I didn't think it was a good idea. <laughs> All right, very cool. All right, gang. October 29th. This will be open to the public for one day only for the big flea market. Thank you, Rooster. You're welcome. Evelyn Thanks Rooster Miller. I blinded her. I'm sorry. Oh, very cool.